Hello and welcome back to my garden. Today I am going to be cleaning up my uh, squash and uh, pumpkin plants here because I, I have some new growth coming in. So I want to clean these up and get rid of some of these old leaves, especially some of the leaves that have been uh, infested with pests and eggs on them. So I'm going to start clipping some of these off and trying to train the newer growth to uh, grow up on my trellis here. And while I am completing this chore, I'm going to uh, insert some clips and also explain to you how I built this trellis. Uh, this trellis I built from all tree limbs that came from my backyard and I used my um, this cotton uh, cooking, uh, this cotton string here, uh, you can use it for cooking, uh, you can use it for outdoor work. I like this cotton string because it's sturdy and it's a natural material and also it, it's not, uh, it doesn't have any like sharp to it so it won't cut any of your uh, plants uh, so that's why I like to use this but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with clipping everything I have my little clippers here but how I built this I have a lot of trees in my backyard as you know I've explained to you before and as you can see and some of the lower limbs that grow they uh, they began to shade the backyard and then also I like to cut the lower limbs because as the tree grows taller it will become an issue later on for me to get to them and then I would have to hire a professional like what I had to do with my oak tree and my um, pecan tree. Uh, so now whenever I have limbs that come in that are really low to the ground, I try to go ahead and just take care of them. <sighs> But I um, have some little bugs there. But what I did was after, you know, going out and uh, trimming some of the limbs and then also a few limbs that have fallen, I uh, gathered up all of my limbs and I cleaned them up. And I especially wanted the Y-shaped limbs because the Y-shaped limbs, you can actually put these together and then, you know, cut them so that they're the same height and then you can put a log in between them and it helps to balance a little bit better I um, mean it makes it easier for you to set up a trellis this way but all I did was I uh, once I got the limbs that I wanted to use I uh, measured them so that they would all be the same height uh, so when I put the stabilizing um, a limb on them that you know I wouldn't have they wouldn't be a, too lopsided. Um, I mean, nothing's going to be perfect because, you know, you're dealing with nature and what nature has to offer you. So um, um, my trellis right now, it is, it leans back a little bit and that's because one of the limbs is bent. But, you know, it's okay. It serves its purpose. But I clipped, I saw, clipped. It took me a minute to, to get the, um, to saw the limbs the same height because they're very, very sturdy, strong, thick wood limbs. So it took me a minute, but, you know, I got it done. And once I got that finished, I came in and, you know, I measured the distance between each of the limbs and I made sure that you know I staked them pretty deep into the ground into my raised bed and once I did that for some extra support I decided to tie them down and how I was able to tie them down I put two screws on either side of each of the limbs and then I took string and I just continuously wrapped the string around each of the limbs and then I wrapped the string down to each of the screws that I screwed I didn't screw them the screws all the way in just partially in so that I could wrap the uh, string around it and once I was able to wrap the string around it and make sure that my the limbs were secure, I went ahead and I got the heavy, the heaviest but uh, slimmest limb that I could find that I could place in side of each of the Y's so that way I could tie that down and it would help me tie 
all of the limbs together so that way none of the limbs will fall over so this here is to help to stabilize the limbs but also for me to be able to find a way to tie them together but uh, once I did that I got my string and then I started uh, creating a grid across the whole trellis now I did this trellis because I wanted to grow my squash plants and my um, my pumpkin plants upwards I wanted to grow I wanted them to grow up and not sprawled out on the um, ground the one reason I didn't want to grow them sprawled out on the ground is well I don't have a whole lot of garden space um, I, ra I only have three raised beds and I have a few um, no dig beds but I wanted to utilize as much space as possible to grow as much food as possible and um, I didn't have the luxury of you know allowing my um, my squash and, and um, pumpkins to take up a lot of space so that's the main reason I built this trellis um, I'm very happy with this trellis because it it didn't cost a lot of money the only thing I had to pay for was the cotton string that I use but um, I wanted to do a grid style uh, string with the uh, cotton string because I figured it would make it easier for me to weave the uh, vines through and then um, when I had any pumpkins or squash grow I could <clears throat> tie them to the string and the string it's a very strong string and I didn't do like one line of the string I actually double lined each one and that way it would make it a lot tougher and um, so once I got the string up, you know, I was able to sort of look and just make sure, you know, everything was in place. And once everything was in place, I was able to, to trellis my squash plants and my pumpkin plants up the trellis. And then once they, you know, kind of caught on, they just started to grow on it on their own. Now, some issues I've been having is a pest now I thought that by not having them sprawled out on the ground that I wouldn't have any issues with pests but I have been having some issues with pests um, I actually lost quite a few of my squash plants to pests and then also I I think I was starting to grow some pumpkins but I believe I lost those to pests as well so I'm happy that I'm seeing new growth because I feel like I have another chance to get a, a decent squash and pumpkin harvest I was praying that I would have some pumpkins by the time Halloween came so that I would have my own you know like pumpkin pumpkins to decorate and to make pumpkin pies with or whatever but it didn't happen uh, maybe I'll get some this season maybe not if not it's okay I'll try again next year but um, but the past they were still able as you can see they were still able to get to my plants like I have these little yellow things here that are growing so I'm just gonna clip this whole thing off because I don't really see anything else growing on it so I'm just gonna clip this whole thing off because you know it really didn't do anything for the pests and maybe it did maybe if I had uh, put this on the ground and let it sprawl out maybe it would have been even worse and I wouldn't have gotten any harvest uh, I was able to harvest like two squash plants off of here and of course no pumpkins but um, but I I'm happy I did this because like I said even though I did have a huge pest problem I didn't have a problem growing other plants because I have my um, black beauty egg plants here and I have some celery and then I have some beans growing below that so I was able to 
utilize all of the space of my bed to grow different things I mean it's just me but you know I still want to be able to harvest as much food as I possibly can because that's the purpose of having a garden is <laughs> so you can feed yourself but um, I I like this because I was a little nervous about building this at first because I was afraid that it would fall over because we've been getting like a lot of uh, heavy duty wind coming through this summer. This summer it really wasn't as hot as I thought it would be. Now it's hot because we're in, in uh, September. So like end of August going into September as we go into the fall, you know, we get those dog days of summer where it gets really, really hot out and the sun starts to move more south so I, I begin to get a little bit more light uh, coming this way but I put my trellis here because you know as I explained before this way faces south so you want your lower growing plants to be in the front of your bed and you know by height as you know the taller and then the taller and then the tallest you want going towards the back so I put my trellis here one so that I could anchor it down to the back with the uh, screws but another reason is because so that the light can shine here but nothing will overshadow any of my lower plants so you know when you're going to build a trellis especially when you're attaching your trellis onto your uh, raised bed and you want to grow other plants you know make sure that you have it facing south you know you don't have it facing you know north so you want it to face this way and then have your lower plants in front I hope I explained that thoroughly for you but uh, I'm gonna continue to clean this up but you know I'm happy with this trellis I'm not going to take this trellis down um, I considered taking it down and maybe moving it somewhere where else but it actually did very well right here so I'm I'm gonna oh I had some new growth there oh well I um, I'm gonna leave this here and actually I'm gonna do another uh, sowing of squash and pumpkin seeds I may do a different variety of pumpkin seeds uh, this variety I did a jack-o-lantern uh, variety because I wanted the big pumpkins you know but it didn't do so well and I another reason I don't have a lot of um, flowers uh, for bees or you know any other pollinators to be attracted so that's another thing I may have to do is back here maybe plant more pollinating flowers I mean I have some honeysuckles over here and a few more honeysuckles over there but you know they're a little bit farther away and a lot of my um, wildflowers that I planted they're actually up against the house because you know I wanted to beautify the house I guess it wasn't I should have been planting them back here but next year I'm gonna sow more flowers uh, seeds and try and get more uh, pollinators back here because I think another thing is I probably didn't get enough pollinators and and I'm not going to save any of the seeds from my squash or pumpkin har uh, or pump well I don't didn't get any pumpkins but none of the seeds from the squash that I harvest because of cross pollination uh, pumpkins and squash if you plant them too close together the flowers that are produced um, you know any pollinators you know they can cross pollinate the two flowers and then if I planted those seeds next year I, I wouldn't get the type of um, vegetable or squash or pumpkin that I would want so I'm not going to harvest any of the seeds or save any of the seeds but um I will get I may even get a different variety of the squash that I got because 
I only got two squash out of it. So, um, so on my checklist for next year, because you know you want to start planning for your next year's garden now. You know, because right now I'm learning from my spring and summer harvest. You know what worked and what didn't work. So, you know, I may try different seeds because those seeds didn't work here. But also, I may try. I will plant more flowers, more wildflowers out here to attract more pollinators. So that way I can ensure that, you know, my flowers that are blooming are getting pollinated. But, you know, what can you do? So it looks like I got this pretty much uh, cleaned off. I have some new growth down here that's uh, trying to vine up. So I don't want these to, these older pieces here that have already kind of served their purpose to be in the way of that. And, you know, it makes it look cleaner and, you know, and a little bit better but thank you for joining me out here in my garden uh, while I finish one of my garden chores out here um, if you like the video make sure you leave me a like and subscribe to the channel you know so that you can see more of my videos and also I'm a writer so make sure you check out my Amazon page and read my book because that actually helps support the channel and it helps me to make more videos for you guys so well thank you for joining me again and I'll see See you guys later. Bye.